archive number two as colonized on 14 mm. April 2016. So when I, I do harvest, I record the kilogram that I've got in what? In the hive, eh? in mm. a hive two. So after get after recording it, so that the following season when I do harvest, if I harvest 10 this season, the following day I harvest five, I know what is the problem, why has it reduced? Mm. Or when it increases, you know that it has done what? Mm. It has increased. So this one helps me to identify the what? The different hives and their production. So this one has not yet done what? Colonized. Harvesting, I know the term for harvesting, if it has uh, almost, uh, if the, mo the bees have moved up from there, I know that there, the other beehive TE mm. it has, mm. the bees has just left, I know, then I know the problem, what if it, are they, are they having other predictors, is it rent going there, or what is the problem? Mm. Uh, well, I'm called Maserek Hassan, I'm from Kaisamba Zone. Nyakitokoli Parish, Karangura Sub County, Kabul District, Western Uganda. Uh, probably, uh, I have some uh, uh, short story that I want to put across about beekeeping. Uh, I started beekeeping in 2015, after probably my senior six. Uh, I started with two local hives that was locally made with me and my father. Uh, after setting those two hives, uh, and uh, the good chance it colonized after getting colonized and uh, the first harvest i got six six kilograms in each each uh, after that then i went and sold to local people they were giving me ten thousand per per liter per kilo gram so immediately after six months uh, i got some motivation uh, i added on from two hives I made other 10 hives, after those 10 hives, uh, even the, those Jesse, they gave us some um, modern hives, they gave us 4-4 four, four hives, uh, even the catcher box. So from that, I cited them, uh, a good chance all of them colonized. Uh, those 10 hives, when they colonized after 6 months, when I harvested, probably I got 30 kilograms. And those 30 kilograms that I got, probably, I bought two goats. After getting two goats, uh, I got some advice from other people that, ah, you are buying goats, not, not the time to buy goats. Instead of buying goats, add on more hives so that you have a lot of what? Or production. Uh, from that, that's when even uh, we got a chance of a tornado. We came up, after tornado coming up, it was sponsored by almost they are collaborating with BBC. So the BBC selected the youth that had started beekeeping to be supported in their areas of weaknesses. So probably when Tunade came in, uh, that's when I established another good modern apiary. Uh, when Tunade came in, probably I had like four sites. So in those, so, so, so those four sites, uh, the Tunado supervisor came and uh, selected one for me. Uh, what were the criteria? He told me, when you are setting an apiary, there is some conditions that we want to make a good what? Apiary. So he told me about the, the location. The apiary should be where there is no people. Uh, he told me about the apiary should be nearby water. He told me about the apiary, they should be having a shed. An apiary should be having well faced. An apiary should be well cleaned. So, in addition to that, probably we did it practically with her, that I was sharing with her. Uh, we did the practical part of it. That's where I set a good apiary. So, that apiary, we were engaged with the Tunado to give us some, some more equipment to use in our apiaries. So, that's when sometimes they gave us some hives. Uh, those hives, we could pay a small percentage of it. Then we get the, the hives. So probably get six hives from there under the program of Tornado, be, be a champion. Uh, from there, we, we came. Uh, when I came there, they supported us with bee shoots. They gave us some gum boots. Uh, they taught us how to ha do the harvesting. So as I talk now, I have 40 
modern beehives and I have 56 local beehives and all of them all of those I have 86 that are colonized other that have not yet done what colonized but as I talk now as I do harvest uh, I harvest like four or three jerrycans per season every three months that's what I do harvest as I talk now I have two jerrycans of honey I'm, I'm still keeping it because I'm still lacking someone who can take it at once. Probably with beekeeping, I can say that I'm there because of beekeeping now, as the youth. And the thing that I've done in beekeeping, anybody cannot believe, I can say that maybe I'm not the one, maybe I'm a thief, maybe I'm a what. Kumbe, it is the money from what? From beekeeping. One, the first one, beekeeping is cheap. That is the first achievement. It is a matter of getting a site, you put your hive there, it colonizes, you don't provide food, you don't provide spraying, you don't do what? So, you don't look for the food for the, for the bees. They just do their own what? Their own food. That is the first achievement. The second one, uh, probably I'm a TOT in beekeeping. Probably uh, in the program of Tornado, uh, we, are the, we are the bee champions. Uh, we are told to teach 10 other youth or behind us, other beekeepers. So I did it, I taught them, and they're performing very well, uh, and ex I gained experience in that training. So of course I could go in the apiary, we do practical work of it, uh, we do hives, local hives, uh, we do the monitoring, we do the cleaning, we do the processing, so everything, those skills, I acquired them. So that, that is some of the achievement I do, what I got from there. Uh, we have networking. Uh, probably networking, I've got different people calling me for honey. So I've got friends. People who can call me, we want honey, we want to come and find our group about uh, beekeeping. Uh, probably even I got a chance from that to do, join Yalta. Uh, yeah, that Yalta is the youth in agroecology business track Africa. I was among the youth that they picked to go for the national caravan. So when I reached there, Almost I represented the Kabarole district when I reached there. So when I reached there, I presented something that I am doing. So about out of 40, I was the seventh in the practical thing and in the agroecology that we are doing. So now from there, after that training, even I was motivated to see other things that they are doing there. So because we are in Imbarara, we went to Kampala, we are in Mbigi, uh, and, and other areas. Eh? So when you reached there, Probably I was motivated. That's when even you got people there having some campsites. So when I reached there, we could pay a lot of money they could pay for us when we're going to visit those people. And what I ask myself, if someone can do this thing using local available materials, and for me even you have those local materials, why can't I at least practice? Even if I can't paste, but I can practice. I copy and practice. So even that one motivated me. I started making my own what? A campsite. So as you can see now here, you will, see, you will be seeing practically how I'm, I'm starting that innovation. So I, this one I got it from Masaka at St. Jude. When I went there for the caravan, that's when I met that innovation. So I motivated to come and do what? Practice. Probably as I talk now in the sub-county, if I'm not mistaken, I may be only the one, the youth, that can, they can almost be that is a model farmer. Because I have the matoke, I have that plantation of matoke, I have bees, I've started the campsite with environment. I think I'm, I'm even doing with environmental conservation of people from Ministry of Water and Environment. They came to my place, they saw how I planted the foliages, uh, and you know with bees, we are pollinators. We protect the environment. So. Almost I'm patterning with them, they're giving me something, I'm working with them, planting trees, indigenous trees and even other trees. So, those are even part of the what? Of the achievements. So, as I talk now, I started even a business, local business. I said that, uh, ah, because we are taught about something about gender. So, when we talked about gender, I never wanted me to be busy. Yet, my wife is not busy. I said, what should I do? So, my wife is in charge of vegetables, things that I planted around. Uh, after doing all those things, so having a small business. 
so that after that the wife goes to the what to the business so i do any things of where okay it is like a shakara i do everything I can find the panga there i find their sweets i find their clothes shoes everything it is there so even that one was inspired when i was almost in that training let us let us involve our partners to be in the what in the business as i talk now i have four apiaries because i talked about very many hives that are not in one site i have four apiaries uh, and two i wanted to give them to my wife probably so that even let her be involved in the what in the project so that even if i'm not there he can control she can control the what the project uh, as I talk now, even my family members have just involved them in the business, in the project, so that they don't get guilty to me. That maybe people are coming to my place alone, they are not visiting them, they are not doing what. So even my MZ is so far now having four hive, hives, local ones. And he's practicing very well. And when I'm making some hives, I do them with, with, with him. So with beekeeping, probably we, we have got very many things as a youth, and now I want to do it as a business. Uh, I have not talked about the foliages that they taught us. We had Kaliandra, trees. they gave us bottle brass. Uh, even Tunado gave us some trees, like museum. So those trees, probably you'll see them practically I planted them, and they are catching up very well. The macadamia. So, uh, macadamia, yeah. Macadamia. We have them, I planted them, and all of them are reacting very well. So they told us even uh, how to do the baiting. Eh? So I've not gone in details. How can you bait the local beehives? Probably with the with the modern one, they have how we can bait them. Even this one for local one, you, ha you have how you can bait them. Uh, I'm just passing a message to the youth that let us not waste time in looking for jobs from the government, from where we can use our own hands and even our local available materials to achieve something.